Hello, my name is Dean Hoss, and today I'm going to go through with you how to enter carriage inwards and outwards into the trading and profit and loss parts of your income statement. Before we go through the double entry, it's important to understand what we mean by carriages inwards and outwards. Basically, it's the cost of delivering goods either to our customers, carriage outwards, or the cost of actually bringing the goods from our supplier into our business, carriage inwards. So if we pay to bring in goods to our company, then whether you're paying the petrol uh, to put in your own delivery van to collect the goods from your supplier, or you're using an external company such as DHL, the courier company, to bring in the goods, in both cases, it's going to be entered as an expense into the carriage inwards account on the debit side. So if, for example, we'd bought a batch of toy trains and we'd had to put in £100 worth of petrol, then we record that going out of the bank account into the debit side of our carriage inwards, and we would simply cross-reference that with the bank payment that comes out on the credit side. And similarly, if we deliver goods to our customer and we're kind enough to pay for that delivery either through a courier or by delivering it ourselves through our delivery van, again, it's the same double entry except into a different account because rather than paying our supplier's um, carriage, if you like, for delivering the goods to us, what we're paying here is a payment towards the actual delivery of the goods to our customers. So let's say we sold a, a few toy trains and we had to pay $50 worth of petrol or even a courier $50 to deliver, then we would put that into our carriage out. Why? Because it's a payment that is made as a result of something being sold or sent out of our business. So again, it would go onto the debit side of your carriage outwards as an expense. And the difference really is that the carriage inwards is for your suppliers and the carriage outwards is really for your customers. So at the end of the year, you would look at the payments you'd made to carry goods into your business, carriage inwards, which we can see here is 200. And we would transfer that to the trading part of the income statement. And the carriage outwards, if we look in total, we paid to deliver to our customers $300. That's actually transferred to the profit and loss part of the income statement. So one goes into the trading and the other one goes into the profit and loss account. If we look at our vertical trading and profit and loss account or income statement, we can see very clearly that the carriage inwards is added to the cost of purchases. Well, that makes sense when you think about it, because if you buy $6,240 worth of goods, you return to your supplier 220 but you had to pay another 200 to bring them all the way from your supplier into your business. Actually, you have used up $6,220 worth of purchases. The carriage outwards, on the other hand, that's entered as an expense in your profit and loss account after you've worked out your gross profit. Why do we put carriage inwards into our trading account? Well, that's because it's linked to our purchases, so it makes sense to have it here in the trading account. The carriage outwards, however, is linked to our sales, and we therefore minus it as an expense. Thanks for listening. If you found this tutorial useful, then please do wait for the next video to load up in the playlist. And remember, if you did find this helpful, hit the like button.